Here is the field for tonight's featured seventh race, the Cinderella Stake. Number one is Royal Ball, owned by the DTP Standard Brads and Kevin Nam. Tom Stemper trains, Dale Heitman drives. Number two is First Life, owned by Jim Hoffler and Tom Moore. Tom Moore trains, Neil Coleman drives. Number three, Something Present, owned by Something Different Racing Stable. Carmine Fusco is the trainer, Dean McGee will drive. Number four is Object of Desire, owned by the LPS Broodmares, Duke Sugg Drives and Trains. Number five is Clearly Clout, leased by Norm Vance, Von C. Racing Stable. Charles Von C. is the trainer, and Jeff Fout, the driver. Number six is Sign of Rain, owned by Jackie Bootenshane and Jim Crowley. John Bootenshane Trains, Dave McKee, the driver. Number seven is Eurydice C. Bluegrass. The dr owner is Steve Held, Diane, and Joe Cristiolo. Joe Pavia Jr. trains Joe Pavia Jr., the driver. Number eight is Molly Hanover, owned and trained by Fred Drilliard. Laverne Hostetter will drive. Number nine is Jezebel's Kiss, owned by John Leahy. Joe Anderson drives and trains. We have five minutes of post, just five minutes. Keep in mind, number nine, Jezebel's Kiss starts in the second tier. He does running. Time of the turn. As they ride up behind the starting gate, nine, Jezebel's Kiss in the second tier. Here they come. They're off. Between horses, there goes something present. Something present going right for the lead, but Royal Ball charges through on the inside. But something present is your new leader, and something present. Has the lead now by a length and a quarter. There goes Object of Desire. Charging into second, Royal Ball. Right with the leaders in third. Clearly Clout. Right there in fourth. Now by two lengths. Followed by First Light. It's a three-length gap to Jezebel's Kiss. It's Sign of Rain on the outside. That's Molly Hanover and Eurydice Bluegrass. 27 and 1 for that first quarter. And they're strung out. Entering the stretch for the first time, and something present has that lead number length and a quarter. It's a Royal Ball right there in second. On the outside, Objective Desire is first over. Clearly, Clout now takes to the outside, followed by First Life. 55 and 2. Now the race is half over, and into the clubhouse turn they race. Something present has that lead a length. Royal Ball right there in second, but on the outside of the rush. Here comes Clearly Clout, was fourth, now third, going up right after the leader. They curve into the back stretch. Here comes Clearly Clout, up to challenge, something present for the lead. These two are noses apart. Three quarters on the board, 124 and four. Into the far turn, something present has the lead on neck. Clearly Clout is alongside a challenging second. Five lengths back now to Molly Hanover. Here they come, turning for home. Something present cuts the corner. Something present now draws clear on the inside of horses. That's clearly clout as they come to mid-stretch. Something present with the lead. It is something present all alone at the wire. Number three, something present, finished first. Number eight, Molly Hanover was second. Number five, clearly Clout, finished third. Number two, first life, was fourth.
Moving to the winner's circle, number three, Something Present. Something Present is owned by the Something Different Racing Stable. Carmine Fusco trains the winning driver, Dean McGee. That is a driving double. Results official, 155 and the fifth. In the winner's circle's present presentation, Midwood Park Racing Secretary, Mr. Doc Narotsky, congratulating the winning team.